Hey there, EV enthusiasts! Welcome back to our channel, where we dive deep into the electrifying world of electric vehicles. Today, we've got a shocking revelation for you. Despite all the hype around EVs, low maintenance, easy repairs, and even battery swaps, the reality is turning out to be quite different. In fact, many EVs are heading straight for junkyards. Stick around as we uncover the five reasons why electric vehicles are hitting the scrap heap faster than you can say, battery swap. All right, let's get into it. Reason number five, lack of trained professionals drives up repair costs. EV makers have been selling us the dream of low running costs. They claim EVs are simpler than internal combustion, IC cars, and thus easier and cheaper to fix. But is that really the case? Not quite. The reality is that electric cars are significantly more expensive to repair than their IC counterparts. Why? Well, one major reason is the lack of trained professionals. In the UK, for example, only 10% of all mechanics are licensed to work on battery electric cars. As the number of EVs on the market rises, this shortage is becoming a bigger problem. According to some sources, the UK will be short of 35,000 trained professionals by 2035 when IC cars get banned. This basic principle of supply and demand is driving repair prices through the roof. So, if you're an EV owner, your first challenge is finding a skilled mechanic. But even when you do, brace yourself for a hefty bill. Experts point out several reasons for these high repair costs. First, there's the complexity of the technology. EVs come with intricate electrical systems like batteries, inverters, and motors. Then there are the safety concerns. Mechanics working on high voltage systems face risks of electric shock, adding another layer of difficulty. Now, on to reason number four. Collisions usually lead to write-offs. Even though EVs have fewer parts than IC cars, this doesn't mean fewer problems. In fact, even small accidents can cause huge headaches, especially when it comes to the battery and its housing. Narrator. EVs have different structural designs, particularly in battery housings. A tiny defect can require a complete replacement due to safety concerns. This means that even relatively minor collisions can lead to major damage that isn't fixable. Replacements are the only option. And it's not just the cost that's a problem. The lack of spare parts in the EV world means these repairs can take weeks, making the process long and painful. Insurance companies know this too well. Rather than spending a fortune on repairs, they often choose to write off the vehicle even for minor damages. Reason number three. Damaged Teslas instantly become commodity cars. Recently, Lee Carter from Scrap Life Lee posted a video showing a junkyard filled with Teslas with light damage. Normally, such damages in IC cars would be fixed quickly and cheaply, but with Teslas, the high repair costs and lack of spare parts make them more valuable as scrap. What's even more surprising is that no one wants to buy these damaged EVs to fix them. They just sit there becoming commodity vehicles. In a few years, we might start treating used EVs like old smartphones, disposable and replaceable. Reason number two, EVs are hard to fix and it's not just about mechanics. We already mentioned that repair costs are super high, but the issues go deeper. Electric cars require constant software updates for systems like batteries, motors, regenerative braking, and driver assist features. And guess what? Over the air updates often don't work as well as promised. Owners usually have to visit dealerships to remove software bugs, and professionals often wait for manufacturer feedback to solve issues. This is a huge hassle now, and imagine the costs once the warranty expires. Dealers might use this as an opportunity to charge more, compensating for the lack of tradisho. NAL maintenance needs like oil changes. Electric cars are incredibly complex. For example, a battery management system interacts with the powertrain to maintain energy flow and ensure safe battery operation. This system also communicates with the onboard computer, which controls various other functions based on inputs from sensors. Even a minor flaw can cause major problems. Look at all the issues Chevy Blazer EV owners have had recently. Chevy struggled to optimize its software, leading to compatibility issues between different systems. Ensuring seamless communication in such complex systems is challenging and often requires professional intervention. Finally, reason number one, EVs are simply not reliable. Despite fewer parts compared to IC cars, 
EVs are new technology that needs years of polishing. Recent surveys, including one from Consumer Reports, indicate that EVs have 80% more reliability problems than gasoline-powered cars. Common complaints include problems with electric drive motors and charging components, highlighting the complexity of EV systems. While legacy car makers struggle, even Tesla, which ranks near average in reliability, faces significant challenges. Besides vehicle issues, there's the problem of public charging infrastructure. Frequent malfunctions and a lack of charging stations add to the overall frustration, slowing down EV adoption. Interestingly, hybrids are proving to be much more reliable. Classic self-charging hybrids, like those from Toyota and Honda, have simpler systems and fewer problems than both pure EVs and traditional IC cars. This reliability, along with no range anxiety, explains why hybrids are growing faster than EVs. While EVs struggle to reach an 8% market share, hybrids have already surpassed them, now accounting for more than 9% of the market. Their growth continues to outpace that of pure electric vehicles. So, there you have it. The five reasons why EVs are ending up in junkyards faster than ever. It's a tough road ahead, but the future of EVs is still bright. With continuous improvements and innovations, we might see these issues resolved in the coming years. Thanks for joining me on this electrifying journey. Don't forget to smash that like button, subscribe for more updates, and let us know in the comments what you think about the future of electric vehicles. Remember, as Henry Ford once said, Failure is simply the opportunity to begin again, this time more intelligently. See you next time and stay charged up.